Now the Novices Gold Cup is next. It's a two and a half mile grade one. All Novices always flying David Hooney, Craskend Avenue, Darren Thompson, Manor Lord, Leon Van Rensburg, Domes of Panga, Darren Thompson, and the miss for Joshua Sutherland. So, big boys got this one to themselves. As you'd probably expect. And only four of the big boys involved as well. So, Domes of Panga will lead into the first. Which they will get over nicely. Two for Darren Thompson. Just one apiece for David Hooley, Leon Van Rensburg and Joshua Sutherland. Into the second of the 15. And let's hope we don't get too many fallers. I haven't seen many fallers today. We only saw two fallers in the Irish Grand National. And we pulled up. We saw a faller in a novice hurdle earlier on. Jumping's been pretty good today. Domes of Panga. The miss now on the inside has come through to get back into the lead as they take the third. But again, Domes of Panga jumped it better and came out the other side in front. Looks like those two are going to keep doing that. The miss will get the lead on the flat and Domes of Panga will jump into the lead over the fences, although that time it didn't quite happen. Always flying his third net. Kraske and Avenue is fourth and Manalord a couple of them to drift. In fifth, coming past the stand then. And heading out for a final circuit. And the miss is in the lead. That's the final race of the day from over here in Ireland. And a couple of different tracks and Grey is sitting patiently waiting in the country box at here as they get over the next where he's got the Scottish Grand National he's also got a, he's got a Scottish Champion Chase as well Scottish Champion Hurdle some of the Scottish card might run over till tomorrow in which case it'll be me that's there but it's the miss in the lead that's a great off Hunter chasing on day three as he usually does it's the miss in front from always flying as they get over the 7th of the 15th. Domes of Panga and Craskend Avenue, the two. Darren Thompson horses are together. Darren Thompson is fast becoming the king of the Grand Nationals. Can he take the Scottish one later on? Gray will call that one home and let you know later. My lord on the outside. The miss. Late into the ninth and he's suddenly six or seven lengths clear. Manor Lord has moved into second. Jockey on that one probably thinking it's a good idea not to let this Joshua Sutherland charge get too big a lead. Into this ditch. And all over that one okay. And the miss. He didn't jump a couple of them that brilliantly early on. He's certainly got to act together now and he's well clear. Racing into the next. Popped over that one nicely. Good jump too by Craskend Avenue, who's now moved into second. Manor Lord is third. Domes of Panga fourth and always flying fifth. They're starting to close on the lead now. You can't rule anything out yet. And Craskend Avenue is racing up now to join the miss, but the jockey on that one seems to think that his horse would prefer to be out on her own, and he's just Pushed her into a three length advantage again. She jumped that one really quickly and we lost always flying at the back. And keeps on like that after his name changed to always falling. But it's the miss who's in the lead from Craskend Avenue second. Manor Lord is third. This is the third last and the miss popped over that one nicely. Depends how much she's got left in the tank. Difficult to see Domes of Panga and Manor Lord get into this unless both of these front two hit the wall. But I can't see that happening. One of them maybe, but it's the miss who's in the lead, racing down towards the final two furlongs, and the miss will get over the second last, oh, and she ran straight through it, and that button put a complete different complexion on the race, now as Craskend Avenue comes through the challenge, and suddenly Manor Lord and Domes and Pango are right back in it, the miss has responded well to that mistake, and jumped the last one nicely, but Manor Lord jumps it really well in third, but the miss is battling away on the inside, Manor Lord and Craskend Avenue, we're getting a real finish on this one, it didn't look like we would do it at one point, but we are doing now, and Manor Lord is beginning to get up, and Manor Lord is going to take it, Manor Lord wins it, the miss is second, Craskend Avenue and Domes of Pango, 
was fourth. And if you'd have said to an home that they had finished all four of them within two lengths of each other, then you'd have got a good price on that. But Mala Lord took it from Leon van Rensburg. He's had a pretty good meeting. The Miss second for Joshua Sutherland. Kraskend Avenue third for Darren Thompson. Domes of Panga fourth for Darren Thompson. And they were the only four to finish. I'll pass you over to Grey now here for the Scottish Grand National and two others as well.